welcome back viewers and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can download and install Stacer which people may call as the ultimate PC cleaner for Linux as CCleaner is on Windows. So uh, what Stacer exactly is? So Stacer is an open source system optimizer and application monitor that helps users to manage their entire system which may obviously require pseudo privileges and uh, with, dif uh, with different aspects also and it's an all-in-one system utility overall if you talk about it so uh, in th in this video I'm going to show you how to install the same and install it on your PC and in fact use it also so first of all open your favorite browser and type in Stacer one more thing here I would like to tell you that although you can install Stacer from the terminal directly by entering simple apt, apt install command but uh, as this video is for beginners also so I'm going to use browser and download the dev package or app image for to install it so I've searched for Stacer here and then you have to go to the github page here of Stacer and when you will scroll down here as you can see that it has such a nice UI so I will click on download now and it will take me to the sourceforge page and here as you can see that they are giving uh, the dev package which is of 21.7 megabytes uh, when you will click on this version, the latest version is 1.1.0 and uh, here you can see that they have RPM and app image also and dev package also. So here I am going to download dev package and I will download dev package. It will start your download within seconds and it will ask you to save the file uh, to download the file you have don't have to uh, check on this option you have to save the file and I am not doing this because uh, I have already downloaded that uh, downloaded the dev package of Stacer so I'll cancel this but you can click on save file and continue to ok and it will download your file here on the top okay so I'm going to clicking cancel and then I'll close my browser here and then I'm going to open my file explorer here I'll go to my downloads and as you can see that I already have the Stacer 1.1.0 dev package here and so I'll install it through dpkg although you can also install it by right clicking on it and open it with software install which will give you a uh, GUI install so but I'm not a fan of that so here what I'm going to do let me enlarge the font I will cd to my downloads directory and then here I'm going to write sudo dpkg hyphen i and then after typing few letters of the file name you can press tab to auto complete this and and when I'll run this command it is going to ask me for my sudo password and I'll enter that and it will install stacer for me on my PC as you can see that very quickly the installation has been completed so I'm going to close everything here and search for stacer in my application so here open this and you can uh, monitor your uh, resources from here you can see the specs and also you can see the internet speed or disk usage memory usage and etc etc from here you can manage your startup applications and from here uh, here you can clean clean up your uh, junk clean up junk files which are stored in your system in fact you can click here on select all then and then search for files uh, it has searched 36.1 megabytes of files as I've already cleaned my system by using stacer but I have uninstalled it and installed it again to for this video and and then I'm going to click on this clean option and then it will ask me for my sudo password enter that and click enter press enter sorry and it will show here that 36.2 megabyte size megabyte of files has been are cleaned and after that here you can search here you can manage the system services that what system services are running from here you can see the process with their PID and 
what percent of CPU they are using. Here you can see packages also. So you can uninstall packages also from here. So let's say that I want to uninstall NeoFetch here. So I'll select NeoFetch and click on uninstall. So you have to give your sudo password. and it will uninstall neofetch for you i think i have uh, uninstalled my uh, I've as you can see that now neofetch is not here and here you can monitor the resources in a very detailed manner provides you with the graph also here and you can manage hosts here is the app repository manager that what repositories are enabled so source codes source codes are restricted and here you can manage the genome settings etc so that's all for this video and i'm going to quit this one more thing here that when while quitting stay sir it will ask you that to continue to work in the system tray so uh, if you want it to run uh, in the system tray in i mean in the background so you can in a, uh, continue here uh, otherwise you can quit so it's up to you i am i don't want to run it uh, run it in the background but for uh, to consume my system resources so i'll quit here for watching this video and I will see you next time.